All right, we're getting ready to pick this old girl up, see if we get a good shot out of it. So they're gonna use the stroker to string that guy line out. <laughs> the guy line's over here. Jesus Christ. Miscommunication. It, it'll absolutely kill you. Oh my god. I gotta figure out how to zoom me. Come on, zoom, baby. Tell me how. When it's not recording. Anyways, normally uphill like that, I would uh, put a block and string haywire, but with this thing, it'll just pull it right around using the haywire, I guess. I don't see why we chain it down now. Why if we chain it down, it would, I, I don't know. We'll see. Yep, see, miscommunication. What I would have done, he's not gonna reach very far up there. I'd grab one of those logs tie the rigging chain on the log, grab the log with the stroker and stick it right up there to him, but I would stick it up there with a bunch of tail so they could just go ahead and couple it, bing bing, hanging over and then that's just me. But they are also are working short handed too. There's only the chaser actually does the hooking too, so <laughs> that's what's left. Come on baby, I want you to zoom. Okay, let's I'm gonna get this to zoom. Okay, so this is kind of a test video. That's zoomed all the way in. Let's take it out. There is quite a bit of difference. It does zoom pretty good. Right on. But I gotta figure out how to zoom while it's recording because that would be way more handier. Okay, so yeah, see how those guys are dragging that guy line across there and then they're gonna string it down so they'll couple it together. So if they would have, and again, they're shorthanded, but even if they, it, it, I've been in a situation where Chaser or whatever didn't show up, so I would have had it already planned out and was not being able to use Haywire, that's exactly what I'd done. I would have grabbed a log, rig and chained the log, rig and chained my guy line tag, you know, 20 feet of tail, put my tags on it, have that stroker grab the log pick it up and just take it right to him 
couple it up because see now they got they're gonna they, and they drug it all the way up here so now they're gonna hook it up and then they gotta drag it and hang it over the bank and then uh then they gotta try to couple it with it hung down over that bank this is gonna be interesting <coughs> anyway so yeah if it would have been all coupled up and what i mean by coupler is the these stubs are, are a certain length long you know you get them 50 75 100 200 feet and uh, so the end of it he just threw down is the nub well to get two of them together it's you use a coupler we've went over it before but that's a coupler right there now let's get down here uh -huh. uh. anyway see it? that thing right there so the nub goes in like this and then pops down and the other one comes in the other way and pops and that's that's how you couple the guy line together anyway so hopefully i'm gonna put you guys right oh i got dude on my new camo already yeah see we uh that thing should already be strong but the reason it's not is a miscommunication or no communication and b when when you don't let the guys do their job that you hire them for uh hook tender uh you know rig and slinger it's hard for them to plan or to, to do anything because most of the time in those kind of situations just like i said he if he'd had all that stuff planned out and then this guy's no i do the way we're gonna do it you know so it's kind of but yeah so now that that nub is hanging over the bank there 10 feet <sighs> this is gonna be really interesting all right yeah so now you're hanging over the end without a coupler you got to get a hold of that end and hopefully they put tail on it oh guess what it's not enough already could have already been done so many yep two feet short pull on it now you got two guys standing above you Jeez. there's gotta be I screwed up so bad people I mean when I come back from Pennsylvania the first time when I flew over and flew back uh, EVT offered me a job I should have taken it what a dumbass and then again you know we so, it was a great opportunity going over there to Pennsylvania so if that would have worked it would have been perfect but it didn't work so and then again I come back from Pennsylvania and uh travis offered me work then too but uh instead i thought that i would go try to make up for for leaving stacy what a ding -a -ling. it'll get better time of year spring's just about here jobs are going to start opening up and even though we do work year round if you really pay attention to the ads and the paper and whatnot, there are certain times of the year you don't want to be looking for a job. Uh, hey, get over the bank and help him. Oh, my God. That slinger. Oh, I would. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give him a hand. Jake. Oh, that's helpful. It's already. Hang oh, my God. Anyways, uh, I got sidetracked now. But... Don't worry now, he's got it. I, uh, 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 if I had any, <laughs> any uh, input at this company, that guy would be gone. See ya. Anyway, so I... 
I, I did lose track. I completely forgot what we were talking about there. I was talking about more than what. Oh, uh, times a year. Uh, end of November, middle of November, end of December, you don't want to be looking for a job. My theory is it's Christmas. You don't want to be off, you know, so people that may be upset with where they're working or whatever are not going to, you know, they're going to suck it up and work through Christmas. And then, uh, again, right before you really get into heat restrictions, because, you know, depending on what application you're using, you may be shut down for, for heat or your region is shut down and somebody else's isn't. So, yeah, you don't go quitting around that time. Uh, right now, next month, beginning of spring, and on through the nicer, people start jumping ship and going here to there to there. And because companies that, you know, they may have a, a bunch of work on dirt, so they shut a side down. They fire back up, you know, so they're looking for help. So, well, heck, I can make a buck more an hour, or my buddy works there, or, or you know, ding -a -ling made me mad. I got to get the hell out of here. So here, just, it won't be long. We'll get us a good position. I promise. Oh, man, you missed your cut. We can look at the stroker a little bit while we're waiting for the tree to fall. I know, I know. Where's the hand cutting videos out? I'm trying, guys. I really am. Hopefully, um, I hope you got a wedge dealing. Oh, I got the Hickam on pumps. Yeah, it's setting back already. Hey, uh, don't, uh, 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 hey, hey. What are you doing? Oh my god, that saw is gone. He's doing. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, there you go. Look up. Maybe we'll. Oh, no, no. Not a good idea to look up. Get that. Oh my god. Okay, wind let up a little bit. You better get it over while the wind's. High production show. I bet you guys it takes us all day to rig this three guy line machine and make a layout. I can guarantee it. Good lord, that saw's going. Crank that mother up and put it on the ground before that wind picks up and puts it. There you go, silly. Stop now. Now would be a good time to take a break. He fell that right over top of that other guy line. Oh, good lord, run. He did. He fell it right over top of that other guy line. Right over top of the other guy line. See, and, and this is uh, that state. Hey! I'm videoing. Anyways, that's, uh, yes, that's state ground. Sorry, I was gonna say forcers. Anyways, it's state ground, so all all those they have to stay. Just silly. I don't see any reason why the state wouldn't have the mill we're working for pay them a few bucks for them logs and ship them. Is there anything we can do to help? Silly boy, I think he's mad at me because I made him go back up there and buck that log off him. This is, uh, us, uh, we don't have to, we can leave it there, can't we? And I was like, uh, not as long as I'm running yard. If the log was right up against the stump, I might think about it, but no, I don't think so. Except they're bound, you never get it, what a, Silly, silly boy. Yeah, look at them big old rotten dandies. That's what I was talking about the other day when I said, you know, we're cutting all this smaller timber and that log's no good. It's it's chipwood. Even with as much good wood that's left on the rind there, 
the, no mill would buy that, you know, and mill that little bit of it. So they just put it on a chip truck and chip it. But I don't even think these go, actually. Yeah, no, they're on the low side of the cut line. Is the, the white tag is the right of way. Oh, it's a right of way. So they may not go. I don't know. God damn, it's fun to be logged stuff like that all day, every day. Oh, we got tree links over the bank. Better clean that up. Boy, they got a mess. Leave a lot of logs. Get him out. 